Hello, Stacy Hillis with Standing Gap Ministries. Today we're celebrating our 15th year anniversary and having an opportunity to feed over 105,000 people in our local communities. We started in the year 2000. Uh, basically what had happened is that uh, God spoke very clearly to me, feed my people, feed my sheep, which is a verse in John. I had no idea within 15 years it'd be this uh, successful and have an opportunity to fulfill my dreams in this community. Food donations primarily come from the Owasso area, from clubs, uh, school clubs, uh, corporate donations, uh, small groups, school groups, uh, again clubs, boys, girl, boy scouts, girl scouts, uh, soccer clubs, and aside from that we do have corporate donations that come in. Other than that the, foods come, the food goods come in from uh, purchasing them at the local food bank when that's available. It depends on the week, but we'll have between 35 and 60 involved with us on a monthly basis. On distribution day like today, we'll have at least 45 to 50 people here. Well, to celebrate the 15th anniversary today, it's actually the true anniversary was last month, March, and we've been in preparation for that for the last 30 days. Today we'll have large cake for all of our clients, the people that we serve, and that, that cake will be the regular uh, sugar-loaded cake as well as the diabetic cake, and after that, um, after the uh, distribution is over today, then we're going to have uh, a small set-down lunch with all of our uh, volunteers. Correct. Yeah, each, uh, every, every week or every food distribution, they'll come into our sign-up table and uh, they will fill out an application form so we know exactly how many household uh, numbers there are or people in the household and from that determines exactly the amount of bags of food goods as well as household goods they're given a small ticket as they go through the line those tickets are picked up so each individual and each family is given plenty Standing Gap also what we do it's we meet every third Saturday of the month here at uh, Owasso First Assembly in the facility but throughout the week we have uh, volunteers retired volunteers that that go in and, and uh, have an opportunity to take groceries to the to the shut-ins to the elderly uh, folks like that so it's a it's a very uh, unique organization or a nonprofit uh, we're all volunteers and we, we don't accept any um, administration costs so to, to feed a hundred and ten thousand people a known administration cost I, I believe is is what we call a faith-based organization. People always ask me that question, why do you believe it's a faith-based? Because we never know what kind of food is going to be True. coming in that week to, to feed the, the people that we need to feed. We have a, a local number here uh, in town that they can call Standing the Gap, uh, and then basically what we can do, we can go out uh, with them and, and take them food, or they can come to our facility and get food to take out to, to who they need it. Because you never know what's going to happen to, to somebody that's uh, down and out and, and hungry. So we try to encourage them to, to know that uh, there's a better tomorrow. And that's through not only feeding them, but also feeding them the word of Jesus Christ.